Hi, I'm Todd Fletcher 99 and this is this week's Todd and Todd. Todd's and Todd. There will not be a Todd of the Week this week. So I'm just going to be doing a deep dive into where players have signed and the top free agents and free agents who are still, who have yet to be signed. Starting off, we have Anthony Rendon, who signed with the Angels. Next, we have Garrett Cole, who signed with the Yankees. Steven Strasburg signed back with the Nationals. Josh Donaldson has yet to sign. Yasmani Grandal signed with the Chicago White Sox. Bum has yet to be signed. Zach Wheeler is signed with the Phillies. Hinjin Ryu has yet to be signed. Cole Hamels has signed with the Atlanta Braves. Dallas Keuchel has yet to be signed. Mike Moustaki signed with the Cincinnati Reds. Didi DeGioia signed with the Phillies. Ozuna and Preed both have not been signed. Castiello, Nicholas Castellanos has yet to be signed. Rich Hill has yet to be signed. Will Smith signed with the Braves. Will Harris has yet to be signed. Dylan Batances has yet to be signed. Brett Garner has yet to be signed. Jacob Dizzy signed back with the Twins. Howie Kendrick signed back with the Nationals. Troy Dickerson is yet to be signed. Ben Zoris is yet to be signed. Adam Carcion has yet to be signed. Jose Abreu is, yet, is signed with the Chicago White Sox. Chris Martin and Kyle Gibson. Well, Chris Martin signed with the Braves. Kyle Gibson signed with the Rangers. Smoke. Justin Smoke and Robinson Trinos have yet to be signed. Travis Dorando signed with the Braves. Alex Avila signed with the Twins. Hunter Pence has yet to be signed. Drew Pomerez signed with the Padres. Cole Callahan has yet to be signed. Tanner Rorock has signed with the Blue Jays. Hilary Terrain has not been signed yet. Michael Pindia has yet to be signed. Eric Thames has yet to be signed. Wade Miley has yet to be signed. Alex Wood is not signed yet. Stuart Jeanette is currently unsigned. Rick Porcello signed with the New York Mets. Jose Idlis is yet to be signed. Gio Gonzalez, Todd Frazier, Alvar Nova, Jordan Lyles, and Afiz. Garcia and Stalin Castro all have yet to be signed. So those are like the top 50 players in free agency. Now I'm going to give my personal takes on where some of these players signed with, like the big names. So Anthony Rendon went from the World, the World Series champions Nationals to Los Angeles Angels. I think the Angels, if they get some pitching, could be a real threat. Like, I think they should try go after Dallas Keiko or maybe just go after Julio Terrain, Michael Pena, maybe the Gio Gonzalez, just get, like, some solid arms. And I could see them as a contender, especially with Trout, who's always been amazing and always will be. They could be a real contender now that they have Rendon. They just got to get better pitching. Yankees signed Garrett Cole. I despise the Yankees as most baseball fans do. If you don't and you are a Yankees fan, uh, I just wish Cole went somewhere else. I don't like the Yankees. They're just some, some of their fans are annoying and just... I wish Garrett Cole signed anywhere but New York. Strasbourg is re-signed, not much. Charles Donaldson, I personally think, should go to the Mets. Now, I know you're saying they don't really need a third baseman, but I feel like he could really push the Mets over the top, and the Mets should definitely try and get go after him. I feel like he'd be a really good addition. Bumgarner, if I were the Giants, I wouldn't re-sign him. He's 30, he's getting up there in age. You're not really contending. I would save you money. But if I'm Bumgarner, I would want to stay with the Giants as he's been there for a lot of his career. 
but I just don't know if the Giants should really pursue after Bumgarner. Zach Wheeler going to the Phillies. I like this move by Wheeler. Helps Phillies get more pitching, which is always helpful. And it's going to really help, I feel like, as he's a top pitcher. They also got Didi DeGloyes, which I think is really clutch. Because now they'll have Didi at shortstop. And now they move Gene Segura to second base, which I think he's a little better at. Plus have Reese Hoskins at first. I like that team, and I like their chances as well. Castellanos has yet to be signed as a Cubs fan. I really think the Cubs should bring him back. He did really well. And if I'm the Cubs, I would also try and trade Hayward as he's not doing amazing and he's making a lot, try and trade him, and then go after one of these top players that's still left. Maybe try and get Keiko, they're interested in him. And just go after pitching is what we need. So maybe go after Will Harris. He'd be a nice, solid addition. I don't know. May, maybe go after Ed Carcion. I want it. I want it, but maybe. Maybe Hunter Pence if we really needed another bat. Maybe go after Wade Miley on his short deal, cheap deal. Maybe Gio Gonzalez would be maybe a smart move. Cubs really got to get some pitching. But, yeah. So, thank you for listening to Cubs and Talk this week. I know it's not the longest episode, but I've been busy. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next week. Bye.